I'm recording this um, video to go over problem 11-18A uh, that we covered in class and that's going to be on page 523 and we went over the problem so you're pretty familiar with the fact pattern but this is a business decision that needs to be made where the company is considering purchasing a new generator or keeping the old one. So the decision is should we fix and keep the old generator or should the company buy a new generator? And essentially it comes down to looking at all of the costs associated with the generators, both of them, and determining which has the lowest net present value. Again, many of these cash flows occur at different times. Some of these costs occur right now in the present time, but others, other costs occur later on, four, five, six, seven, ten years out. And in order to make the decision, we need to look at the relevant information and more importantly, look at the present value of all of the cash flows. So let's first look at the costs associated with the purchase of a new generator. So purchase of the new generator. It says in the problem that the purchase price is $20,000. We'll put it in brackets because that's an amount of money that has to leave the company that's going out. It's a disbursement. When does that occur? It occurs now. How often does it happen? It happens only once. Okay. What's the next cash flow? The next cash flow is the salvage value of the old generator. And this is important to understand because if the company goes ahead and purchases a new generator, that means they can get rid of the old generator. That old generator has a salvage value right now of $4,000. The idea is that the salvage value equals what they could sell it for. They can salvage it, they can scrap it, they essentially are able to get rid of it, and somebody's going to pay them $4,000. When? Now. How often does it happen? Just once. The next cash flow is the annual operating costs. The annual operating costs. And the key word here is annual. That means it happens on an annual basis. It happens each year. The cost of that is $7,500 per year. And we need to know what that is worth right now. What is the present value of that annuity? The present value of those costs that are going to happen on an annual basis. For how many years? Eight years. So N equals 8. We need to discount it at an interest rate. And it tells us in the problem here that all equipment purchases are evaluated using a 16% discount rate. That's the same thing as saying that that is their required minimum return on investment. So I in this problem, I equals 16%. If you go to the annuity table, present value of an annuity, and you look up 16% in 8 periods, you're going to come up with a factor of 4.344. The present value of, that, of those disbursements is $32,580. Again, we're going to put that in brackets. Present value. It's not 8 times 7,500. That's the future value. What is the present value? $32,000. Now, when the company is done with this new generator, they're going to disperse, they're going to get rid of it. They're going to hold on to this generator for eight years, but then they're going to get rid of it, and that has a salvage value. So we have the salvage value of this generator, which is the new generator. How much is 
the salvage value. It's six thousand dollars. But that's the future value. That's the amount of money that they're going to receive when they get rid of this generator eight years from now. What is the present value of it? Again, we need to know that we're looking at eight years and we're looking at 16 percent. This is the present value of a single sum, present value of a dollar. If you look at that table, you come up with a rate of 0 0.305. The present value of that inflow is 1830. The net present value for the new generator is $46,750. That is a negative number. It's a negative number because we have no revenue. This is all expenses. The purchase of the generator, the annual operating expenses. Sure, there's some positive numbers here, but those are salvage value numbers. So you have a negative 46000 on the purchase of the new generator. Well, we need to look at the alternative. Should we keep the generator? So let's take a look at that. So this is the decision, should we keep the old? Should we keep the old generator? It's a business decision. It says in the problem that if they were to keep the new generator, there is going to be an overhaul. Which means a major repair, doesn't it? It's going to happen when? It's going to happen now. Right away. How often does it happen? It happens only once. And that's going to be at a cost of $8,000 right now to fix that generator. The annual operating costs. Again, the key word here is annual. Annual operating cost. That means it's going to happen every single year. It's going to happen annually. How much is it? $12,500 per year. In order to get the present value of that annuity, we need to know the interest rate, 16%. The number of periods equals eight years going to go to that chart, present value of an annuity, and come up with a factor of 4.344. Present value is $54,300 per year, negative number. And the last cash flow here is when they're done with this old generator, they're going to get rid of it. The salvage value of the old generator this generator is three thousand dollars it happens only once they're gonna get the cash flow at the end of the eight-year period It's only gonna happen once but we need to know what the present value of that three thousand dollars is again I equals sixteen percent number of periods equals eight years but this is the present value of a single sum present value of a dollar Factor is 0 .305. $915 is the present value of the, that inflow. The net present value is $61,385. That's the net present value of keeping and fixing the old generator. So what are you looking at here? You have to make a decision. Should we keep the old generator or should they buy the new generator? And what you'll remember here is that the net present value for the new, you saw from our notes, 46750 Again, that was a negative number. What is your recommendation? The recommendation has to be to purchase 
the new generator. What's your explanation? The explanation is because the net present value is greater than purchasing or fixing the old. Purchasing the new generator has a negative $46,000 net present value, but keeping the old generator has a negative $61,000. Remember, the greater number wins. $46,000 is a bigger number than $61,000. Recommendation, explanation, and supporting calculation is what I'm looking for. Good luck. Bye-bye.